It's not enough, but they'll take it. That's what a Milwaukee family is saying after a man is sentenced in connection to a road rage shooting that killed a father right in front of his children. This was in July of 2022. Fox 6's Bria Jones joins us live now from the Milwaukee County Courthouse with more on their reaction. Well, Seth, the family of Ronald Butler, they say they felt a roller coaster of emotions inside of the courtroom. Now, while the outcome that they wanted, they say they can now close this painful chapter. For almost two years now, Ronald Butler Jr.'s family has been wearing these T-shirts in their walk for justice. It's hard to imagine life without him, so I try to imagine and pretend that he's still alive. Tuesday, his sister, Ramonia Butler Foster, was there for their final day in court, face to face with 25-year-old Demetrian Caston Townsend, the man who pleaded guilty to second-degree reckless homicide in the case. When he walked in, <clears throat> my heart dropped to the bottom. Caston Townsend was sentenced to 19 years in prison, plus an additional 10 years extended supervision in connection to the fatal road rage shooting that ended Butler's life at 50. Is this justice? It is not justice for my brother. This is a chapter that's closed. A life for a life. If you take a life, you should have to pay with your life. His family says Butler was heading to a birthday party the evening of July 19, 2022, with his children in the car near 87th and Mill when he was shot in the head. My brother just yelled out, hey, man, slow down. I got my kids in the car, and he shot him. A witness telling prosecutors Caston Townsend threw the shell casing in the sewer and burned his clothes, leaving Butler's mother in a world of hurt. Upset. I'm sorry. He should have got more than 19 because he took the kids father away from them. The family says Caston Townsend did read a statement apologizing to them in court. However, they said he denied pulling the trigger, which felt like a slap in the face. Now reporting live downtown, Bria Jones, Fox 6 News. You feel for that family, Bria, thanks.